Hi everyone, welcome to Penacool Math Mania. Today we will be using math as our superpower to learn about converting units. When taking measurements of lengths, distances and heights, results of our measurements can be represented in different units. Julian wants to explain to his class when to use centimeters, meters and kilometers. He starts with the measurement of small lengths. For the lengths of pencils, copybooks or notebooks, we represent our measurements in centimeters. What are some other measurements that we should represent in centimeters? Longer lengths and distances can be measured in meters. For example, the length of the classroom or even the schoolyard. We even see meters being used to measure the length of Olympic races like the 100 meter dash. We use meters for longer distances because one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. It would not make sense representing the 100 meter dash as the 10,000 centimeter dash. For even longer distances, we use kilometers. The distance between towns, for example, Port of Spain to San Fernando, would be represented in kilometers. One kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Julian begins to show the class how to convert measurements from one unit to the next. When changing a measurement from meters to centimeters, one must multiply by 100. The length of his father's van is 5 meters. To represent the length in centimeters, he multiplies by 100, giving a length of 500 centimeters. To convert in the opposite direction, meaning centimeters to meters, we must divide by 100. Representing 700 centimeters in meters, we take our value of 700 and divide it by 100, giving us the measurement of 7 meters. Next, he converts kilometers to meters. The Queen's Park Savannah is about 3 kilometers in length. Representing this in meters, we must multiply by 1,000. This gives us a length of 3,000 meters. To convert in the opposite direction, meaning meters to kilometers, we must divide by a thousand. For example, the 10,000 meter race in the Olympics is very long. Can you represent this distance in kilometers? Remember, converting from meters to kilometers, we must divide by 1,000. Therefore, 10,000 meters will be equal to 10,000 divided by 1,000, giving us a distance of 10 kilometers. Now that we have this knowledge, do you think you can convert 2 kilometers to centimeters? We can convert the kilometers to meters, then take our answer in meters and convert it to centimeters. First, we'll multiply 2 kilometers by 1,000. This gives us 2,000 meters. Then, we can convert the 2,000 meters to centimeters by multiplying by 100. This gives us a measurement of 200,000 centimeters. Thank you for visiting Math City. I hope you had fun learning with me today. Try the Pentacool exercises below to earn points and win great prizes.